I changed the rear brakes a couple months ago, and now it needs front brakes. Who knew? I'd rather work outside though. Let's see if we can fix that. Ah, shoot, it's quarantine! For this brake job, you're gonna need a way to take the wheel off, a jack, jack stands, flathead screwdriver. This is my beater because it's not only thick and old, but also I don't care if I break it. If you're using a screwdriver in a way that's not meant to be used, use something like this. 14 millimeter wrench. Mine's ratcheting, but you don't need that. You can also use a 14 millimeter socket. You also need some channel locks. These are some big ones. I like to call these vice grips because I'm an idiot. I also use this brake caliper tool in a previous video where it was necessary for the rear caliper to for the parking brake. But I actually had an easier time with the channel locks. So I'd actually recommend it. If your brakes don't come with grease, just get some grease. You should have some of this on hand anyway. You should do it. I don't care if it's whatever brand. I don't even know where this came from. They're all the same. Advanced AutoZone, AutoZoo, whatever. Grease. All right, YouTube, I'm cheating a bit here. The car's already up and on jack stands. First thing we're gonna wanna do, this right here is gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt. Break it loose, but do not take it out. I'll show you why in a second. And then this bolt right here, let's go ahead and take this one out. That process is going to look a little something like this. Now remember, we're looking at this backwards. So instead of righty tidy, it's going to be righty loosey. Go ahead and take the bottom bolt out. that one loose we can rotate that up take the pads out I've got the boot pulled out it just slides off but Go ahead and put some grease in there. It'll look like this. This is also why I'm wearing gloves. Cause grease gets everywhere. To do both the way I have the caliper on, you can see I just pushed it back on there. I'd go ahead and bolt the caliper up and then do the top one and pull it down away from it that way. Go ahead and grease that slide pan. Don't forget that. Grease the pads for the brake. You can see where I grease there. We can smear some there. If you have extra, they make this uh, brake quiet stuff that is basically just grease. But something to note, these brake pads on this car are actually front uh, left and right and inner and outer specific so most brake pads that I've worked with are just left and right specific also the kit that I got did not come with any new clips hi Blanco come on so So we're going to reuse the clip, which isn't a big deal. So go ahead. If you notice, to orientate these, uh, this piece, can you see? This piece goes on the inside on both sides, so the one you can't see right now. And this piece goes on the bottom on all four sides. So we'll go ahead and grease this one and then just install it the same way and I'm not kidding that's it oh I am kidding we need to use to make room for these thicker brake pads so to do that I want to get grease all over the caliper but I'm going to use these vice grips these giant ones and I'm just going to push them in
Is that enough room? Yep. Go ahead. Install this bolt. I wouldn't tighten it down because we still need to grease that top pin. This pin slides. That's actually part of how it stays with the rotor because the rotor just floats and is locked in place by the wheel. Also, some grease never hurt anybody because it will just stop the car from resting. Oh. One more thing. Bad in the brakes. Braking procedure. This one's a little bit different even though it's the same brand. Perform 30 decelerations from 30 to 5, leaving 30 seconds in between brake application. It's a little bit different, but basically use the brakes a lot and then don't stop. Never come to a complete stop and go for it. A couple things worth mentioning real quick before I go. I had plenty of pad life on this. I just went ahead and changed it because I changed my rears about 5,000 miles ago now. and eh, probably less. Maybe 3,000. And I figured the fronts would be needed too. And while the fronts are worn, I could probably get another 10, 15, 20,000 miles depending on how I'm driving. So... I wouldn't be surprised if people were having their front brakes last 100,000 miles on these cars, which is pretty nice. I mean, now the rears go quicker, which is odd, but typically the fronts brake way, or the fronts, yeah. Typically the front brakes are the ones that wear way faster. Like I've heard of rear brakes lasting the life of the car and the front brakes named it two or three times, but there we go. So hey, hope this video helped somebody. I was able to still get these brake pads, no problem. Uh, off Amazon. You need time to do maintenance. Now's the time to do it. You don't have any excuses. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hope this video helps somebody. Thanks for watching.